this is just a corner of my home. God, this looks awful. I mean it. But it is quarantine time and it's just a corner of my home that I can make a video in. My laptop is right here. I know you, you guys don't even see if there's a table over here or if it's just a suitcase or what is it? Like literally, there's nothing we can do about it for now. I'm hoping you can bear with me for the next few days and once that is done I'll be back in my office things will get back to normal things will start getting back together hopefully <laughs> and um, all right let's work through this for now in this video we're gonna talk about some of the admits that fall 2020 applicants have received and I'm gonna show you some of those admits right over here I'm gonna show you some of those profiles I know this is not the optimal time you're probably thinking should you even go in or should you not go in everyone's asking that question and I've already made some videos on that. If you're someone who has doubts about that, I'm gonna leave the link in the description and it'll also be at the end of this video so you can watch it with your own time, all right? So you can you can basically put in the time, but I'm sure one thing, it'll give you practical advice. Secondly, the other thing that's, again, even more important is that it'll clarify things for you. These two things, I guarantee you, once you finish watching that video about whether you should go in or not, these two things you will have like exactly what you should do even if you have your admissions decisions in your mailbox or you know in your email and they're asking you to respond and they're asking you to pay the fee or anything you will know exactly what to do all right so if you have not watched that go ahead and do that in this video we're going to talk about the decisions that fall 2020 applicants have got some of these people worked with me most of these worked with me and i think that's a great great thing because now i can verify these and i can tell you that yeah these are 100 percent correct all right so if that's something that you're interested in continue watching and i will see you in the video all right so we're back to the screen now and over here as you can see this is whyimgrad.com a website which helps it's, it's sort of a social network for people who are trying to you know pursue their education overseas anywhere in the world okay bachelor's master's phd whatever it is we're building this for you okay what you want to do is go into this website all right go into the decisions page if you are signed up you get some exclusive exclusive perks all right but as you can see you have decisions over here all the admits all the rejects all the things that you, you know people have posted already these might be your seniors these might, these might be people who are going right now with you or you know next term whenever they're going with you right so this is important you've gotta keep track of these things and you don't have to research for these things anywhere they're already available made available to you okay so we're just going to take a look at some profiles and some of the admits and rejects which i believe are absolutely absolutely phenomenal first one over here i think is from beneath i've worked with him personally great guy and i know that you know he's pursuing cyber security did his bachelor's in cybersecurity and he's still going for cybersecurity. It's an engineering program. He does not have a great CGPA, but at the same time, he does not have any backlogs also. He does have some work experience, which is also relevant to the field. Okay, so that's a good thing, right? And the scores over here, you can see his GI scores are pretty good. They're not really bad. Okay, he has, I think, a 309 over here, right? And uh, that makes a whole lot of difference. Anything above 310 is probably even better. Okay, his TOEFL score is pretty good. Everything is above 24. It's a good, basically, you know, better than average profile. He does not have top-notch scores for the Ivy League, so they are out. But at the same time, he does have some pretty good, you know, scores. And his bachelor's university um, is not mentioned over here apparently. So we're gonna move on to the decisions. Okay, these are his decisions. So all of his admits, his applied, his rejected universities. Uh, applied means he hasn't gotten a decision yet. The other universities that he has applied to if he's gotten a reject everything is mentioned over here his major that he applied for is also mentioned over here now you can see that he got ad admits from northeastern university university of colorado boulder northeast uh, university of north carolina charlotte uncc basically and i think if he's looking for something that gives him more work experience he should go for northeastern you can actually click on this university and see a lot of details about this university by the way like the rank and the total students and you know uh, the enrollment the male female percentage um, if you're logged in, you can also see the average applicants admitted scores, all of these, the finances, the expenses you will be paying at this university. And yeah, so basically going back to his profile once, um, if I had to pick one over here, I would say if he wants a better rank, then he should go for University of Colorado Boulder, hands down. If he wants a, the co-op program, if you guys don't know what the co-op program, program is at Northeastern, 
um, I can't really explain it in this video, but it's like six months you study and then six months you get to work in the industry on some project, okay? So it, it just alternates like that. Anyway, if you want that, that would be Northeastern. And Northeastern is also in a better area, I would suggest, than um, University of Colorado Boulder, but th both of these, you cannot go wrong with these, right? So let's go back to the admits. Let's take a look at some other profiles. One profile that I wanna show you is, that's again, super, super good over here is Fanaga, she's also a great, great, you know, performer, like everything top-notch scores in this case, 9.1 GPA. Uh, her bachelor's university is BTU, but there was a real, real cool twist in this one, and that was that her bachelor's was in biomedical engineering. I mean, how cool is that? And now she's going for data science. Isn't that like one of the most amazing things? Like people from very diverse backgrounds come into these fields, and that just makes the program so, so diverse because Tomorrow, if she wants, she can actually use these two skills and that just makes her a completely unique person in the industry. So, you know, if she's going for a job in the data science field, which might be in a biomedical company maybe, you know, sort of like something like that, she gets an automatic edge. So if that's some, something that you're worried about, a lot of people are worried about this, I think. They worry like, why do I have this profile? Uh, that my background is completely different and now I'm doing complete, something completely different so I want to apply for something like that. It's not a bad thing. If you know how to use that in your applications, it's going to make things so much better for you. And tomorrow she can even start her own company. Who knows, right? So, by the way, let's take a look at her scores over here. Her scores are, uh, let's say, 310 on the GRE and the TOEFL is pretty good actually. I think everything is over 27. So, you know, GRE score is not completely, you know, crazy good but it's still a pretty good score and her TOEFL scores are phenomenal of course. The decisions as you can see and these are the, the phenomenal parts. I know I worked with her personally, I handled her complete application, like the complete thing and of course she worked on the applications with us but look at that. That's something that you actually want to look at. If you shortlist the universities correctly, like this is the sort of results you can have six admits out of the total seven universities that she's applied to and these are all top-notch universities USC, Purdue, Warwick, University College London, Indiana University, Bloomington, Northeastern, all of these are top universities and I think she knows better than anyone what she has to do with them, where she wants to go with them. Um, I'm in no position to say anything about it but hey uh, if you just need one piece of advice I would say go for a two-year program instead of a one-year one. If you're going for a one-year program it's probably not worth it especially during this time like the whole COVID-19 time, you need to give some time to the industry to revive. So anyway, I don't, I don't really need to impose any advice over here. I think she's done great for herself. And these are the sorts of results that we strive to bring, you know, like in all of our applications. That's the best example of it. All right, so let's move on to some other, oh, I just clicked back a lot. Um, let's take a look at some other ones. Now, I want to pick the people that I have worked with personally because then I can, you know, verify that, yeah, these admits are perfectly correct. They're not wrong. We actually had one admit from this person who had just a 280 score. I actually posted that on my Instagram, on my YouTube story. Like, he got a 280 score and he had an admit from a pretty good university. And uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to put that out in another video or on my Instagram again. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and check that out. Also, if this video is helping you out, if you think that this information can help you, what you can do to support me is just hit the like button, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot. It does. It gives me motivation to make these videos. Like I'm doing this full time now. So <laughs> support me guys. Right. And let's take a look at some other admits. Like all of these are your seniors. You can actually go ahead and take a look at all of these admits. Most of these are not incorrect. I'm 100% sure people who add these are, you know, in their right mindsets. But I'm just picking the ones that I've personally worked with, okay? So again, Mohit, I handled his complete application. I know, like, everything we handled. And the best part about his profile is that, you know, again, same thing. He was from mechanical engineering and he was moving into data science. This is a very typical scenario. We deal with this almost every term that we work. Like, every week, actually. Every week or two weeks, like, this thing comes up. It's very common. Don't worry about it if you have it, okay? And his GPA is pretty good. You can see it's 8.1 out of 10. He has four backlogs though. That's not a good thing of course, right? So you might think, hey, that just makes his profile so much weaker and he might not get great admits. Take a look, right? Work experience, 30 months. 30 months is a pretty good amount of time. And uh, by the way, for those of you who do not know, that 
one thing that the website does not tell you is that his work experience is very, very relevant to his profile. So yeah, that does add to you know his um, achievements over there, right? His scores, um, you can see the GRE is not you know out of this world good. 306 GRE, uh, 3.5 AWA, it's fine. It's not really an exceptional GRE score. And his um, TOEFL scores are pretty good. Everything is above 25, so that's pretty good, right? Now let's take a look at his decisions, okay? And he's told me about a couple more that he's not added over here yet, but take a look at these. UT Dallas, University of Connecticut, then there's Drexel University, University of Massachusetts Amherst. And recently he told me about, you know, he's waitlisted on um, UMCP. So that's one that we're still waiting on. He's not added it over here because the decision is probably not out yet, but um, we're waiting on UMCP and one more university that we're waiting on, like two universities were on the waitlist. But apart from that, you can see that these are all pretty good universities for his profile, especially University of Massachusetts Amherst. Like this is one of the top universities if you want to actually study, you know, both business and engineering. And just being able to get into that with four backlogs and a completely different ba bachelor's background, you know, it's it happens. That's what I'm saying. It can happen with you. It can happen with anyone. Trust me, okay? So these are just some of the profiles that I wanted to show you. I can, of course, I can keep going. I can show you a lot more profiles over here. Like you can see there's so many pages on this page in error. Like all of these things, like these are your seniors. You should thank them for it because they have actually updated this data. Of course, we're creating some groups over here, which will help connect people who have gotten admits from the same university. So if you haven't already added your admits, you should do that so that you can automatically get added to that group chat, okay? Um, it'll just basically help you connect with each other and network and understand uh, you know where people are going with the idea you know especially in times like this like right now recession and everything you gotta know where you're going with this right you gotta know how you're gonna be moving forward right so again all of these profiles I think uh, a lot of these people I recognize because I've worked with them but I want to make this video extremely long it's already 12 minutes long so hopefully this video gives you a lot more perspective you understand what you want to do with your uh, admits if you know you're looking for a particular university just go on over here and search for the university name you will have admits from that particular like northeastern if you if you want northeastern university just select that and search for it you'll get all the admits and applications and everything for northeastern university it's just that simple all right keep doing this i i, I type northwestern by mistake i was wondering why there's so few uh, <laughs> results let me just say northeastern and search for it so you'll get a lot more pretty sure yeah so these are the sort of things that you want to check out so that you kind of can make sure that you are well equipped and you gotta do your research you gotta do your research you gotta understand because there's examples on this um, website that will show you the people who have not done their shortlisting right and they've got a lot of rejects a lot of them I can show you examples but I did not want to do that in this video it's all about the good things um, but again these are the sort of results that we can bring for you and these are sort of results that you can bring for you if you put in the research, if you have the time, of course, okay? Hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions whatsoever, anything literally about anything mentioned in this video, you can do is comment down below. I will personally make sure I answer every single one of you. And um, as always, if you have any personal questions, anything that you want to reach out to me, you can do that over my Instagram. Anything else, just the setup, I know it's bad. We're gonna, we're gonna get over this soon, hopefully soon. Um, uh, and the whole coronavirus situation as well. Hopefully you guys are keeping safe. If you've made it to the end of this video, you guys are the absolute best. Just give me a thumbs up and that will really help. I'll see you in the next one.